All right, hello and welcome to part three of our making a sentiment analysis graphical user interface with Python and Dash uh, tutorial series. In this tutorial, what we're gonna be doing is uh, covering at least real basic how we can now graph sentiment by a term in Dash, um, at least at a very basic level. So right now I'm still running uh, the the sentiment analysis here, so it's running live. You can leave yours running live in the background, especially if you want to see your graphs updating live. So uh, first, what I've got here is just a, a simple query of uh, grabbing a um, a term from the database, uh, loading it into a data frame, and then just printing out the data frame. Just really simple breaking down that step there, reading in the data. If we run this, you should get something sort of like this. Now, a couple issues are right away when we, you know, basically we, we want to grab by Unix descending uh, because we want the latest information. So, and then we're just going to limit to a thousand because as this database grows, you should be like, I forget exact, I think there's like 400 million. Uh, this is, these are old numbers too. I don't know how much it's changed, but let's say it still is 400 million tweets a day. 1% of that's 4 million. So you could in theory have up to 4 million tweets per day in this database. So these queries could get quite large. So, um, so yeah, so this is, so we want to pull order by Unix descending, uh, limit a thousand, but now the time is, uh, not necessarily going to be in the order that we want. So the first thing we want to go ahead and do is let's go, let's, uh, DF, whoops, DF dot sort, uh, values, and then we specify which column we want to sort by, and then I'm going to say in place is equal to true. Now, um, now that we have that, uh, the the sentiment value uh, right now is very raw. It's not going to like if we were to graph it in its raw form, it would just be a jaggedy line that kind of didn't give us too much information. Uh, so instead what we want to do is smooth it out and a really rudimentary way to smooth it out is like with a rolling, uh, like a moving average. So uh, to do that, what we're going to add here is just using pandas rolling um, attributes. So we can say uh, DF, why did it go to a new line? That's weird. DF uh, smoothed sentiment equals, and then this can be DF uh, sentiment on the sentiment column. And again, just like everything else really up to this point, if you're not familiar with pandas, I have a tutorial for that, so check that out. Um, otherwise, you should understand what's going on here. We want to apply a rolling metric to this. Now, rolling has a window. How big that window is should really probably be dynamic. So if we really got a thousand things, like a thousand data points, um, you know, who knows? Maybe we want to do a 100 moving average or even a 500 moving. I, it's really hard to say um, at this stage because we don't really know what this is going to look like. But we definitely want it to be dynamic, probably. So I would say the int of the len of the df, so whatever the length of the df is, divided by some value. I'm going to propose five to start, um, but probably it might even be a smaller number than that. But in this case, divided by five, it could be up to, a, let's say it's a, if it was a thousand, thousand divided by five, 200, therefore it would be a 200 moving average. So um, yeah, and then we use dot mean. The other one you could use is dot sum. If you were trying to do some sort of volume, which we very well may, um, especially in the historical stuff, uh, you would use sum most likely rather than mean if you're trying to evaluate uh, volume. Then what we're going to do uh, is we're gonna just going to do df.dropna uh, in place equals true again. And this way, uh, when we do this rolling average, uh, the first, you know, like if you do a 200 moving average, the first 200 values are kind of pointless. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just drop those anyways. Uh, and then we get the df tail. Let's go ahead and run that real quick. And now we get a, a much more smooth out sentiment, which we can see is relatively positive around the word Olympic. Um, and at the time of my filming this, the Olympics yesterday was the end of the Olympics. Uh, so Olympic is still a popular term, but you can feel free to find, I'm sure you can think of any politically charged topic, throw it in there and you'll probably have lots of information um, on that term. Now, unlike the other tutorials, uh, I think I'm going to hold this one 
uh, here. And in the next tutorial, we'll do the actual live display of the sentiment since uh, a lot of these tutorials were running pretty long. So I'll cut it here. If you have questions, comments, concerns, whatever, feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, I will see you in the next tutorial where we'll actually do this and throw it in a, a Dash app and display it live.